Okay. Okay, so let's start. Hola, Ana. ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. Gracias. Adiós. Hasta luego. Okay. Ana. Hello, Ana. Hello, Ana. ¿Qué tal? Y how are you? Ajá. Ana says, bien, gracias. Good. Thank you. Y tú, and you. Pedro. Pedro, muy bien, gracias. Ve muy bien, very good. Thank you. Adiós. Goodbye. Eh, hasta luego. Hasta luego. I, I think it, it, it also means uh, goodbye, but uh, I don't really know the meaning. Okay. Here it is uh, a difference between goodbye and hasta luego, which is see you later. Because when you say goodbye, maybe you are not going to. Pedro and Ana are friends. When you say amigos, friends, you use the vowel O. Why? Because it shows you that there is a man in the group. Maybe there are three girls or four girls, but if there is one man in the group, then we have to use the vowel O to show the male gender, okay? Okay. We've got here, Anna said, Pedro es mi amigo. We've got here again the vowel O because it shows you Pedro is a man. We've got here, Pedro says, Anna es mi amiga. We've got the vowel A because in Spanish, we use the vowel A most of the time to show that Ana is a woman. So we are going to say Ana es mi amiga instead of amigo. Because this vowel A will show you, will show you that Ana is a woman. So we start here. Ana y Pedro. They have a lot of friends at the university. Ana y Pedro tienen muchos amigos en la universidad. We've got here again the vowel O. Why? Because their friends may be girls and may be boys. So when there is a boy in the group, you have to use the vowel O to show there is a male gender. Okay, ladies? Okay, so for so, Pedro, Pedro. Can you see that, Eddie? Dana y Ana son amigas. Yes, I can see. So amigos became amigas because now there are two girls. Two girls, exactly. So for the gender of the men, you will have to use the vowel O. And for the gender of the women, you will have to use the vowel A in most of the cases. Okay? Okay. So now... Can you read this for me, please? Yes. Eh, el padre de Pedro es Car... Ah, how do you Carpin read this? Carpintero. Carpintero. Yes. Su madre trabaja en un supermercado. Okay. okay. Los no, padres okay. De, de los padres de Pedro son eh, pobre. Pobre. El pobre. El el padre de Ana es un eh, médico eh, famoso. Yes. Su madre no no tra trabaja. 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 Ah, su madre no, su madre no trabaja. Eh, los padres de Ana son ricos. Okay, perfecto. That was perfect. So, Eli, there is any word that maybe you don't know here? Yes. Eh, what does the 
el padre de Pedro es carpintero, the, the father of Pedro is, what is carpintero? Carpintero is carpenter. Ah, it's like the same, same as in English, okay. And So okay. with this exercise, you will you will say which is the missing word here. So let's start with this one. Okay. Pedro es el el amiga de Ana. No, Pedro es no. el amigo because Pedro is uh, is male. Pedro okay. es el amigo de Ana. Perfect. Okay, then Ana. Ana es la amiga de Pedro. Perfect. Now this. Pedro y Ana son amigos. Perfect. Now this one. El padre de Pedro es I forgot the word. What was the word? Uh, carpenter. How do you say carpenter in Spanish? Carpintero. Okay, perfect. Now this. La madre de Pedro eh, is working. Trabaja. Trabaja uh -huh. en un supermercado. Okay, now this one. El padre de Ana, eh, ¿el médico? No, you have to use here the verb to be, so it is, el padre de Ana, your verb to say, eh, yes, okay, and es now, médico. la madre, Ana's mother, la madre de Ana no trabaja. Perfect, Amy. Perfect. It was great. So let's finish with the greetings. So let's practice the intonation here, and you are going to complete the words. Okay. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Uh -huh. Bien. Eh, gracias. ¿Y tú? Muy bien. Gracias. Adiós.